my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic. And today I've got a new type of video to share with you guys. So I've got a couple requests to do this type of video. And then one of my friends who watches, Melissa, shout out to you if you're watching, um, asked me to do like upcoming releases, ready to ship, pre-orders, like monthly or weekly, bi-weekly, something like that. So I'm going to try to do them at least bi-weekly because I think this is fun. And also I know not everyone has Instagram, Facebook, you know, social media to follow when these vendors are having openings. So I thought it would be fun to kind of talk through, you know, releases or places that I've ordered and upcoming releases and like times and, you know, what have you. So, um, I hope that this is something that you'll like. Um, you'll have to let me know in the comments if you want more of these types of videos. And I thought this one we would just run down like what have I bought this month. It's October the 10th today and um, I filmed a few other videos. So, I've got on the same outfit and it's very late at night. So, forgive me if I'm all over the place because this is a new type of video. There's not a real structure. We're just going to kind of chit chat a little so bit. So, I'm just going to go over like vendors that I've shopped from this month, upcoming releases for this week and even month and even future releases and just kind of talk through things and we can kind of, as we move along, like as I do more of these videos, we can kind of like fine tune it. And I thought it might be fun in the future to do like, you know, if I'm going to do a pre-sale to like look at the pre-sale list together. So kind of like the live that we did for Teddy B's going through the list and kind of, you know, talking about each scent. So maybe we'll do more lives like that. Um, I may have to get help from my friends because Martha is like the hostess with the mostest. I know nothing. I've never done a live. And so I don't really know what I'm doing there. So um, I may ask for help. Maybe Martha would be so kind to help me out and kind of, you know, talk through some pre-order lists together and things like that because I think that's so much fun and it helps. Like, you know, whether it's narrowing down your list or talking with other people who have tried blends that you haven't tried, I think it's a great way for like involvement and, you know, just to talk and converse with you all. And I know we do that on comments and, you know, on Facebook and things like that. But, you know, it's so fun to do it live and just like chat about, you know, wax that we all love. So let me know if that's something that you would enjoy watching down below or if you have any ideas for this like series, I guess, that I'm going to do on my channel. Please let me know down below. Okay, so it's October 10th and I believe I've only placed two orders. I could be wrong. I think I'm missing someone. I'm trying to rack my brain. So technically I've placed three orders, I think, if I'm not missing someone. I've placed two with Britta's and then I placed one with Rose Girls. So I did Britta's last night on October 9th and I got the pumpkin and what was the other sampler? The pumpkin, was it pine cones? I don't remember, but she did two samplers. So I got both samplers and then also a few other items that were just like ready to ship in her shop. And then I placed an order, I wanna say it was on last Tuesday, possibly. So maybe like the third. And she put all of her ready to ship that was still available and did it sell out back on her site after she closed the advent or the Halloween. I think it was an advent pre-order or maybe it was Christmas. I don't remember, but she put stock back on her site and I placed an order. And then I placed another order, like I said, yesterday for the samplers and then a few other things. And then I went a little hard on the Rose Girls ready to ship on October the 6th. And uh, I got some, some more fall favorites and then some newer scents as well. So I think that's all that I've placed for October, which I know three orders and I'm supposed to be on a low buy. So it's not like great or anything, but I feel like, you know, I've kind of toned it down a bit. There's been quite a few openings and we're going to talk about quite a few more openings. I know a lot of vendors are doing like Friday the 13th is upcoming and they're doing releases for those. So Let's get into what I am tracking as upcoming for some if vendor wax. If you know of an opening release RTS pre-order that I haven't mentioned, please comment down below and I can either add them 
in the description or I can add them to my next video. Okay, so first we have Scoopable Wax Melts is doing a pre-order October 13th through the 16th that starts on October 13th at 6 p.m. Central Time and she is pouring mini loaves. Kathy is the owner and she always takes requests in her Facebook group and so I haven't really looked at her list yet um, to see what she's offering but I'm sure it's huge because I know a lot of people request you know, a lot of Rose Girls blends as well as a lot of scoopable blends for her shop. So she's got a pre-order on Friday. Then of course we have Sassy Girl Aroma. It's like weekly every Friday at two o'clock p.m. Central. She opens her pre-order and nine times out of 10, if I look at that Sassy Girl Aroma list, if I look at it, I'm going in. So I've really been trying to avoid it. I actually loaded my cart on Friday and it was mostly newer blends. The brittles were, I think, mostly new, if not all new blends. Loaded my cart, and I did not check out. So I was proud of myself because I went back and forth. I was like, you know, these are newer blends, so I won't really know what I'm missing. But then, you know, it's serious FOMO when I'm seeing all the hauls. But then I was like, you know, these hauls won't be happening until like December, and then maybe I'll just be like, you know, in the Christmas zone. And so I won't have such bad FOMO. So I did not check out. So hopefully I can do the same this Friday, but you just never know. Sassy Girl is so hard for me to resist because she's one of my favorite I vendors. I feel like there's something for everyone every single week because she offers so many blends. Okay, so who I know I'm definitely going to order from, this is probably going to go up on Wednesday the 11th, which is the day that Waxy Taffy is doing the fall into the holidays pre-order. If I'm looking down, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. Um, so Waxy Taffy starts October the 11th at 7 p.m. Central. I am definitely participating in this because she's offering almond macaron, which is wonderful. I got it as a sample in my first order. I have a haul video on Waxy Taffy. Really loved everything. So um, check that out if you haven't already. But um, I've looked at her list and I'm definitely going in. I'm not going to go too hard, but there are a few things that I really want to get. And I really love her wax. It's super strong on cold. And um, I'm just, I'm loving it. And I want to repurchase some things as well. Okay. So I think that's everybody that's like this week as far as pre-orders go that I'm following. And then... We've got Vintage Chic Scents is doing a Friday the 13th pop-up ready to ship on Friday the 13th at 5 p.m. Central. And I haven't looked at her list either. I've resisted the last couple of openings from Vintage Chic. My collection's quite large. And at first, I really wasn't limiting myself with Vintage Chic because she was closing. And I thought, you know, this is my last chance to get it. But then I feel like she increased her prices so much where it's just like, you know, I feel like last year I think souffles were $5.95. This year they're $8.95 or maybe they were $6.95 last year. I don't know, but it was quite a, a hike in the price. And so that kind of limited me for Vintage Chic. And then I felt like, you know, I've got an entire bin. Her wax gets better with time. So, you know, I'm fine to just order it and sit on it for a year or two. So I kind of went ham at the beginning of the year and I've slowed down now. So if there's something that I really, really want, I may try for it, but I much prefer the pre-orders because I feel like the closer we get to Vintage Chic closing, I think in December, the like harder it is to get stuff on an RTS. So, you know, RTSs are fun if you like like the rush and the adrenaline and the ninja fingers and all that stuff. But for me, I much prefer a pre-order where I can just you know, leisurely take my time and browse and, you know, go back and forth, fill my car, no anxiety or stress. And I much prefer that. So, you know, I know there's pros and cons to both, but anyway. All right. And then I know Traverse City just had a restock on the 8th and I resisted that. She did bring back Frankenstein, which is one of my favorite scents from her. But I have a bakery bag of that in my drawer, so I didn't go in, but I love Traverse City. Um, Pink Owl, I think, is doing a restock on Friday the 13th. I don't have a list or the time or anything, but I did see in her Facebook group she was going to do a restock. And then 
Knowles Farm is doing a pre-order next month on November 3rd. I think his last RTS, oh, he's another one. So yeah, four orders. I participated in Knowles Farm. He usually does ready to ship the first Friday of every month. But since this past one, I mean, stuff sold out super quickly. I'm so excited for Travis and I'm so excited for you guys because it seems like a lot more people are following his shop and ordering, which is great because his wax is phenomenal. Um, but next month on November 3rd, he's going to do a pre-order instead of an RTS to kind of give more people the ability to get the wax. So I'm really excited about that. He posted in his Facebook group that he was going to maybe do like a four hour window for that. I think five to nine central on November 3rd. So if you don't have social media, I'll try to do another video in a couple of weeks. Um, and we can talk about it again if he posts a list and things like that. Salt Mountain just closed a pre-order on the 17th. So I think those aren't supposed to ship until November. So I don't think she's going to be doing anything. Rose Girls just did her RTS. So she may do a pre-order. I think her Mario pre-order is usually in November. So hopefully she'll post details about that soon and we can talk about that. And then I know Candles from the Keeping Room is doing her last opening. I think November the 4th, the last I checked in her Facebook group. So as that gets closer, we can talk about that as well because I do love Carol's wax. It's a paraffin wax, but it smells so good. Her white cake is my favorite of any vendor. It smells so good. It leans a little almond. It's beautiful. Um, Teddy Bees, I think, is pouring the pre-order now, and I don't think she's going to open until the pre-order ships, which I think is November, if I'm not mistaken. So she always does a ready to ship after the pre-orders. So, um, you know, I'm sure I'll try to participate in that. And then I think she closes until 2024 after that last RTS. Cam Jack um, is another vendor that I enjoy her stuff. I think she just keeps her site loaded with what she has on hand at all times. So I don't know if she's doing any, you know, restocks or anything. If so, I'll let you guys know in my next video. And... Lavender and Speckles and Second and Spruce are both like almost finished pouring from their most recent pre-order and should start shipping soon. So I think Second and Spruce, she said she was going to be doing Christmas samplers after this, I think. And then Lavender and Speckles, I will have to check and see what she's doing. Um, I think she said she's going to do a few ready to ships possibly. I think maybe we're going, we're still deciding. So, um... In my next video, I should have an update for both of those. And then lastly, I want to talk about Scentsy. So, um, upcoming releases. I just filmed my Holiday Bricks. They're Christmas trees. And they're so cute. So, that video, if it's not up already, it will be up very shortly. But those are releasing on October the 16th at 12 o'clock p.m. Central. So, if you're interested in any of those, the bricks will be available. They're $24 each. You can get two of them for $40 or you can get all five for $90. And I think the bars of all of those scents are going to be available too if you want to put those in your club or order those that day. Um, so, that's really exciting. And they're doing scents of the season again. I haven't ordered that yet. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. But those are going to be releasing, I think, November 1st at like 2 a.m. Central or something like that. So in my next video, I'll have an update on those, like whether or not I ordered them or if I'm going to. I may just wait until they release. But hopefully you enjoyed this kind of chit-chatty upcoming releases, what I've ordered, what I'm going to order video. Um, I just thought it would be fun just to kind of chat with you guys and, and keep people informed about openings and releases and whatnot. So Hopefully you enjoyed. If you didn't, please leave me a comment and let me know that as well. I'm open to any feedback. And so, you know, I want to post content that you guys like and enjoy. So um, I thought this was a little different and I haven't really seen any videos like this. So hopefully this is helpful. And I just want to thank you guys so much again for your support on my channel. It means the world to me. I love you all. And I hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend whenever you're watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.